This is part 5 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the significance of main method in ASP.NET Core and along the way, we'll also discuss what happens behind the scenes when a .NET Core application is executed. This is the ASP.NET Core project that we have generated using the empty project template. Notice within this project, we have a file with name program.cs and in this file, we have a class program and within this class, we have this public static void main method. If you have any experience with previous versions of .NET, usually a console application has a program class and then a main method within that program class, which is the entry point for that console application. But here, we are building an ASP.NET Core web application. So the obvious question that comes to our mind is, why does an ASP.NET Core application has a main method? Well, the important point to keep in mind is, an ASP.NET Core application initially starts as a console application. And this main method within this program class is the entry point into this application. So in the runtime, executes this application, it looks for this main method and this is where the execution of this .NET Core application kicks off and it is this main method that configures ASP.NET Core and starts it. At that point, this ASP.NET Core application becomes a web application. Now, if we take a look at the main method, notice this method calls create web host builder method passing it the command line arguments that are coming into this main method. We'll discuss the use of these command line arguments in our upcoming videos. And this create web host builder method is right here. Notice this method returns an object that implements I web host builder. On the object that this method returns, we are calling the build method, which builds the web host that hosts this ASP.NET Core web application. On that web host, we are again calling the run method, which runs the web application and it starts listening for the incoming HTTP request. Now, notice this create web host builder method calls create default builder method of the web host class. This is a static method and it is this method that creates the web host with certain pre configured defaults. To create the web host, this method does several things. We'll discuss everything that this method does in detail in our next video. For now, just understand that this is the method that creates the web host with certain pre-configured defaults. Another important point to notice here is as part of setting up the web host, we are also configuring the startup class using this extension method, use startup. Now, if you're new to the concept of extension methods, then please check out this video, extension methods in C Sharp. I'll have this link available in the description of this video. By convention, the startup class in ASP.NET Core is named startup. Now, if we go to the definition of this class, notice the startup class is present in a file that is named startup.cs. Now, this is one of the files that is generated by the empty project template. Notice along with program.cs, we also have startup.cs and in the startup.cs file, we have the startup class and within this class, we have got these two very important methods, configure services and configure. Configure services, as the name implies, configures the services required for our application and this configure method configures our application request processing pipeline. It's very important we understand what these two methods do. We'll be revisiting these two methods several times as we progress through this course and discuss them in detail. In our next video, we'll discuss everything that this create default builder method does to create the default web host. Thank you for watching.